Hey guys, it's Hexer18. How's it going? Um, in this video, I'm going to be going over how to exploit Windows XP Service Pack 2 using Backtrack 4 Final with uh, Metasploit. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, in your virtual box right here, um, if that's what you're using, I don't know about VMware, you're going to need to go in your settings for both of these and you're going to need to change them, the network settings to uh, from NAT to bridge adapter or bridge settings so you can get a local IP address so we can network these because that's what you're going to need to do um, but as for XP and backtrack in backtrack 4 make sure that the um, you're all up to date and everything there's a video that I made for configuration for that uh, Windows XP make sure that the firewall is turned off and then make sure that it says it's service pack 2 likes like it is right here so um, yeah so let's go ahead and get started here I'm going to go ahead and go to the um, backtrack 4 over here and I'm going to go to terminal or console whatever you want to call it and the first thing you want to do is you want to jot down the IP addresses for both machines. So I if, if config and grab the IP address. In this case, it's 192.168.1.108. So I'm going to go ahead and write these down in the text editor. Um, okay. Linux 192.168.1.108 and Windows should be 192.168.1.109 so I'm gonna make sure that's correct over here I'm pretty sure it is 10 okay I had that wrong 10 fail alright now that we got those jotted down we're gonna go back to the console over here so uh... clear and i'm going to here i gotta zoom in for you guys here so you guys can see this msf config uh... console sorry console msf console and it might take a while to load There we go. And you want to do show exploits. And then this should give you a list of exploits. Um, we want to use, so use Windows um, slash SMB slash MS0. Um, let's see what it's called up here. SMB network right here. So do a copy and paste. Hopefully you guys can see this. Okay. And then uh, hit enter. There we go. We have the exploit we want. Show options. Okay, now we gotta fill in the remote host. So remote host will be the target address which is Windows so set our host 192.168.1.10 because that's what the uh, Windows address is hit enter um, set the target to zero which should already be zero but we're just gonna make sure now we're gonna do uh, show payloads okay the payload we want in this case I want a shell so I'm gonna use I want my interpreter so we're gonna go up here 
And we're going to grab this one. Okay, and we want to do a set payload. And do a copy and paste and press enter. Okay, we got the payload. Um, show options. Now we got to set our host. So localhost is you. In this case, I'm 108. So set localhost. 92.168.1.108 enter okay now we should be good to go so you should just run exploit press enter and it's going to run it and hopefully we'll get our metoper session which is opening right now yep it worked so I need to zoom out here so I can show you guys what's going on here. Okay, see the Windows XP? Basically, it, they have no idea what's going on with their machine. So, um, if you look in the control alt delete, uh, basically you can't tell what's in in there running for the interpreter. Uh, even applications, nothing. Your CPU usage can't really tell either, which basically is pretty scary. So you, you're basically vulnerable, and you had no idea if you're using Service Pack 2. Um, that's why you should always update. And I'm using Windows 7 on a dual boot, so and I like Windows 7 also. So um, for gaming and everything. And if you want to know what your uh, commands are for interpreter here. I'll zoom in again here so you guys can see what I'm typing. Okay. You want to do a question mark or you can type help and it will give you a list of commands you can use. So, uh, system info. See, you can get info. Um, if you want your command prompt to use off of Linux from the machine that you've ran the exploit payload on, you can use shell, type shell, and then bam, there you go. And they have no idea that this is running on your machine. See, nothing. But I think they could still use... Um, the control alt delete and they could see it in there. Yeah, see command prompt. But it's not like they can see it on their desktop. So anyways, comment, rate, subscribe. Let me know what you guys thought. Um I know this is my first tutorial on Metasploit, so just you know, let me know if I did something wrong or you thought there's a better way to do it. I need to know so then I can do better stuff. So um yeah, let me know what's going on. Uh Appreciate you guys watching. Thanks for watching. Uh, see you guys later in the next video. Bye.